Hey, thanks for clicking the link. I'm Matt and this is Outdoors for a Change. We're doing some under the stars camping tonight. Well, we're not really camping. We're back at our glamping site that we were at. And I think it was our last video or maybe two videos back. I don't know, you'll have to check. But we are back here because, well, we love this place. It's secluded. We brought our cameras. We're gonna try to get some B-roll for you. We're gonna go out and, uh, well, there's not a lot going on here tonight. We can't fish on the premise. There's no water here, but we're gonna wake up in the morning. We're gonna do some fishing. We're gonna do some river fishing i'm gonna see if i can catch my very first walleye or or even my very first small mouth if even if i catch a one inch small small you know one inch uh, walleye they'll still be my personal best but tonight we're gonna sit around a campfire we're gonna cook some steaks over the coals we're gonna relax we're gonna have a good time in the morning we'll go fishing <laughs> So we're eating the T-bones and the, um, three, two, one. So we're eating T-bones and some brock. Pasta broccoli. So we're eating T-bones and some pasta broccoli salad. It's really good. Noodles and peas. Oh man, this is just a, a meal set. This is a meal fit for royalty. Now that we got a little bit of energy from dinner, we're going to uh, go down to the swamp and get some samples. Now, why would I want to do something like that? Well, I want to do something in this channel that's a little different. I want to start doing some biology experiments and the uh, best way I know how to do that, the cheapest way is to go down to the swamp, take some uh, mason jars with me, some quart jars, and get some samples, then take it back home, put it in the windowsill, and watch what grows. Then we'll put it under magnification and uh, just chart everything that's growing. Now our ultimate goal, of course, is to grow some fish food for our fish tank. And that way, oh man, I gotta be careful here. Uneven ground. We get something growing in this experiment in the jars that we can then transfer to a little fish tank and then try to get some food growing for our uh, fish that we have in our aquarium and uh, we'll see what we can get going but right now I gotta find the swamp where is it is it this way oh I see it all right let's uh let me quit talking and pay attention to where I'm going
This looks swampy. Watch my step here. Seems sturdy. Oh, I'd hate to fall in this stuff. Swampy. Well, Kathy, you want to record me getting the samples? Maybe, uh, maybe I can fall in and get us up to 225 subscribers. That'll be good for 20 subscribers. If I fall in, trip's over. <laughs> oh, it would stink too. <clears throat> All right, well, a little gross, but hey, biology is gross sometimes. Once we get this home and it starts growing, I don't know what's going to fly out of it. I don't know if anything can fly out of it or will fly out of it. So we're going to go ahead and put a paper towel over the top of it. That way they can still get some oxygen transfer. And then also we can keep things from flying all over the house because that's not the point of the experiment. The point of the experiment is to see what we can get growing in these jars and transfer over to a fish tank and then see if we can get a sustainable food source from my aquarium so I don't have to keep uh, buying fish food because they're picky. They, they just will quit eating all and I have a bluegill. I have uh, well, I'll show you. Oh. Hey, dummy. Oh. <laughs> He's about to get a bad nickname. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. That is your name, duh? Yeah, duh. Duh. Like, duh. <laughs> Do I just have a coin now? Uh, they're really picky with what they're eating. So I'm trying to grow something that's natural and will be free too, but a lot of fun in putting together and I can show my daughter some biology stuff as it's growing. I think it's going to be a lot of fun for the channel too. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below if, if it's a good idea or not. We'll see. All right, now that we got dinner out of the way and we got those samples, I'm gonna sneak out here and see what kind of, uh, well, wildlife we can see. Because we're in fall here in Michigan. We're here near the end of October. So, gosh, we're almost into November. Then it'll be winter. But let me show you where we are with the fall colors before I have to start being quiet and start hunting with my camera. I think our best bet for getting wildlife on camera is going to be going over those hills. Walk across the grass so I can walk real quiet and they keep it cut so it's really easy to be quiet. Then sneak up through those trees. See what kind of wildlife I can find. Okay, I'm going across this field. I hear something just on the other side of this hill. I don't know if you can pick it up with the GoPro.
That was awesome. That was awesome. I didn't think I'd get that close. I got up over the hill. I couldn't believe what I saw. Wow. That'll get your heart pumping. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was fun. All right. Let's go tell Kathy. No, let's show Kathy. I waste so much battery in camp when I find something, I catch a fish or I catch something on Phil. I waste so much batteries on my GoPros just going through and having Kathy watch the footage. I'm easily amused. All right. That wood and the fire's hissing at us. It's wet, of course. Nothing like wet wood on a cold, damp day. Hey, check this footage out. the heck is that? Hey! Hey! Yeah! Hey, good afternoon. It's the next day now. We, uh, we chickened out last night not because of all the noises we heard that was a screech barn owl we heard I, i've never heard one of those before it was right in a tree right over camp that i listened to the gopro footage of it and it's not very loud in the footage it was a lot louder in person but uh, i got real cold last night and we uh, decided just to go home so what we're going to do now is we're heading to the river to do some fishing Small mouth. My PB small mouth. All I'm doing is I'm just casting this Helgramite out into that slack water across that rapids there. 
and I caught my very, very first uh, smallmouth. I'm stoked. Uh, now I can't tell everybody that I've never caught a smallmouth. That's really cool. But I'm gonna let this little dude go. I don't have any way to measure him. He's small, obviously, but I felt him on there. Let's get him, let's get him released. He's gone. My first smallmouth in the books. Hey, it's the next day. I only caught that one little smallmouth bass yesterday at the river. I said, I can't leave a video on that, even though it is my personal best smallmouth. I could have said, caught my personal best smallmouth, wait till the end. And then uh, it would have been legit, but it was only like, what, six, seven inches. And so I'm out on my little home lake and uh, it's 71 degrees today. It's been in the 50s for the last couple of weeks. I'm gonna take advantage of this warm spell we have coming in and I'm gonna get some fishing done right here in my favorite place. I'm glad you're here. So let's, uh, let's get some uh, lines in the water and see what we can get cracking. If you watched my last video, you know I lost my anchor. I brought uh, the backup 12 pound barbell, dumbbell, I don't know which is which. Dumbbell, barbell, dumbbell. Kind of windy out today, so I'm gonna tie this up. A million different ways. I think this will do it. Cool thing about that particular weight is it's 12 pounds and it pins me to the bottom. So I'm gonna I'm be just fine. checking the radar. We've had rain come through and then there's some dark clouds in the horizon. I'm I'm stuck here for another four hours. And uh, we should be good. It's no big deal. If it starts to rain, I can put the GoPros in the box. The one in the back will be hard to reach because I got the side open, so it's not waterproof. And uh, and I could lose a four or $500 camera, so I'm just trying to be careful, huh? Oh, a cloud decided to open up on me. I came in the shore to uh, put the cameras away in the dry box. Uh, I'm gonna go back out and fish and I'll get you guys out of the box as soon as uh, it's safe. Still no fish in the boat. Time for a snack. They say bananas in the boat are bad luck. So are apples in a kayak good luck? Let me know in the uh, comments below. Mm. I was a little worried about these apples tasting good because, uh, well, we picked them and uh, it was a lot of fun. We went out with Kathy and Two of our uh, daughters. Um, well, I got clips. Let me show you uh, what that was all about. A lot of fun. What you doing, Kathy? Providing for her Second. family. Oh, that's a good one. 
We're restricted to eating apples now. That is a perfect looking apple. Well, that's going to be it for today. I thank you for getting this far into the video. If you got any enjoyment out of it whatsoever, hey, I'm surprised, right? If you did, though, can you do me a favor and hit the like button? It would really help my young channel out. Also, if you could subscribe, that would help it out even more. Hey, listen, it's a free country. What you do is up to you. I'm just saying a, uh, a like and a subscribe would be really cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next adventure.